Welcome to the Dr. G and Kevin Lawrence Show. I'm Kevin Lawrence in studio with my father, Dr. Gary Lawrence, and we are a father and son team dedicated to helping you create your new financial future today. Dr. G and I believe there is a solution to your financial situation. So as you listen, we hope you'll be entertained, educated, and encouraged. So glad that you're taking time with us today. So based on government statistics... That's a way to start a show, boring numbers and statistics, but hang in there with me, okay? Based on government statistics, by the time we reach age 65 here in the good old U.S. of A, 54% of us are financially dependent upon someone, family, church, charitable groups, government, so on. 36% of us are still working. Now stop and think about that for a minute. 36% of us are 65 years old and still working to make ends meet. 5% 5% are dead. You know, 5% have passed away. Maybe they're the lucky ones. They got out early. 4% are financially independent. Now, which by government standards means that you earn 36000 per year. So you're financially independent at 3000 per month. But here's the real kicker. Only 1% of income earners are wealthy by the time they reach 65. That nasty old 1% again, right? Now, wealth means different things to different people, but If you want to earn more than $3,000 per month when you reach age 65, it would make sense that you would need to take action today. And and if you are depending on your job, your 401k to be enough at age 65, uh, that's really not an action plan. So let me ask you, how are you doing on your way to realizing your financial goals? Dad, I didn't mean to open up on on a down note. (laughs) (laughs) It's just the facts. And you and I are going to do our best to reach as many people as we can so they can have a different choice. Well, son, you totally have me depressed now. I'm sorry about that. I'm not sure how to respond to all those negative information you just gave. Well, the good news is you are over the age of 65 by far, and you're you're earning over $3,000 a month, so that's good. Yeah, thank God for that. That's for sure. Well, two guys were talking one day, and one of them said, how much money is enough? And the other guy said, just a little more. Yeah. And, uh, you know, um, uh, in the uh, Bible, in the book of Ecclesiastes, I think it's chapter 9 or 10, it says that money answereth all things. Now, uh, that sounds worldly. Uh, That sounds very selfish. But you know what? Money does answer a lot of things. Mm -hmm. I mean, when I go to the grocery store, I'd like to have money to go with me. It helps. Uh, You know, I'm so old, Kevin, that I remember (laughs) when you used to pump the gas and then pay for it. You don't do that in our culture today. Hey, I remember that though too. Now I'm, and I'm not near as old as you, but I still remember that. Well, you're almost fifty. I remember as a kid, you'd pull up, you, meaning you and mom, would pull up to the gas station, you'd pump, and then you'd walk in and pay. I remember right, those exactly. Days. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. We have some special guests live in the studio with us today that literally had to face with stark reality the same facts that you just shared. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have Rich and Amy Rodriguez. Uh, live in the studio, coming to us all the way from Queen Creek, Arizona. And uh, they've been married 24 years. Now, Rich is self-employed. His company does real estate photography. Amy's been in the mortgage industry for 16 years. And uh, they said that both of them had what most people would consider great incomes. And they thought they were on the right track, doing the best they've ever done, both with income and credit. They enjoyed and appreciated a near-perfect credit rating of over 800. Wow. Now, that's pretty good, you know. Man, they Here's cool. what happened. Rich's father passed away, and then afterwards, uh, Rich and Amy sat down with Richard's uh, mother, and uh, they realized how bleak her golden years looked. Not only did they need to figure out how they were going to afford to help her, but that's when they realized if they didn't do something different— Their financial future in retirement was going to look like Richard's mother. Mm. So they went to a financial planner. Oh, those good old financial planners. And uh, he showed us a plan uh, that to retire uh, on about $4,000 a month, they're going to need $1.7 million in a retirement account. And uh, the bottom line is they said, this is their words, we left that meeting feeling very defeated 
and overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. And so uh, since both of them are in the real estate and industry, you know, Amy's got a background in the mortgage industry. Richard's been out there taking photography and videos of properties for sale. They came to the place where they realized they were not going to save their way to retirement. Mm -hmm. The real estate was the answer. Now, they've got a sad story to tell. We're going to start out today with that sad story. Amy and Rich, what a joy to have you live in the studio with us. Well, thank you. Thank you for having us. Thank you us. very much. Well, you're welcome. Great to be here. <laughs> and you guys are very soft-spoken. Yes, we are. <laughs> yeah, yes, you no, are. you're not. You guys were laughing before we got on air. Hmm. So, Amy, let's start out with you. Uh, the story is heartbreaking. Tell our audience what you and Rich went through. And Rich, uh, you have something you want to add to it? You do that, okay? Go ahead. Well, you know, when Rich's dad passed away, we had decided we wanted to sit down with mom just to see what it looked like. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, these are two people that worked all their lives and were pretty much living on Social Security. So when dad passed away, she was, you know, her income was reduced. So we realized that she went from barely making ends meet with two Social Security incomes to one. And then when we looked at our kind of savings and what our um, retirement accounts looked like, we knew that we were in no position um, either when it came to it. Uh -huh. We only have, you know, what, 30 years to go, but it still didn't seem like enough time to accumulate all the money that we needed to, to live. Uh, Rich, was that kind of a stark awakening for you? It, it was. It really was. And just listening to the parents and seeing the situation where they felt comfy, like they felt they were doing what they were taught to do. Mm -hmm. So they felt like they were going to be on track. But when you hear the numbers, it's it's a whole different story from our perspective when, when they think they're doing well because they have money in the bank mm -hmm. and they tell me they have like $25,000 saved up and they're good to go. Wow. My, my insides were just screaming because it just it makes me realize that everybody's playing this story in their head that they were taught and nobody's really running the numbers in their life ever. Well, now, <laughs> in Kevin's opening dialogue here, he said that 54% of Americans, by the time they're 65, are dependent on the government, relatives, some charitable organization. So your mom fits that category, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, well, and Amy, you said it well, that that uh, your in-laws were getting two incomes and barely making it work because it was social insecurity checks. Yes. Right. And then he passes away, and she gets her income cut, you know, in, almost in half. So that's definitely not going to be the situation. So what did yeah. you do? Well, you know, we um, well, so we went to the we first went to a financial planner, thinking, hey, we'll come up with a with a plan and and work on that. And he pretty much said, well, you need to pay off all your debt and save save start saving money. And um, it just seemed so overwhelming, like there was no way that we could somehow come up with you know the million dollars that he said that we needed just to live on for. Yeah, grand. you said this financial planner's plan. Was unsustainable. It was even with the good incomes you were making. Absolutely. It was, and to be honest with you, four thousand dollars a month didn't seem like the kind of retirement that I that we wanted, wanted to have. To yeah, not that I wanted oodles of money, but I just wanted to have the freedom to enjoy my time from not working anymore. Yeah, that's so. only forty eight thousand a year. Uh, yeah, and we realize, you know, like everything else is just going to keep going up from there. So that's yeah, not yeah. taxes, be taxes, at all. Well, yeah, taxes aren't going to go down. <laughs> in the next 20, 30 years. Cost of living doesn't go down over time. It goes up. So you left that meeting with the financial planner feeling defeated and overwhelmed. Yes. Uh, what do you mean by that, Rich? Well, you know, the the plan uh, was posed to us like, oh, it's easy. We'll just get this done and you'll come back and visit me in a year and then we'll get we'll get moving on your, your other investments. And the plan was pretty much uh, take this year pay off all your debt, and then save up this huge sum of money that there was no way it was going to happen, and then we can come back to the table and talk, make it happen. <laughs> uh, you, you know, um, it's really impossible to save your way to wealth. Would you agree or disagree? I agree. It's impossible. I mean, I mean that, that whole thing was overwhelming. It was, yeah. You know, I, I know very few people that have ever saved their way to wealth, mm -hmm. you know. And you know, Kevin, you said that by the age 64, 54% of people are dependent on other people. Yeah. Well, your mother and I, we had invested in mutual funds and stocks for 25 years. And when we decided to retire at the age of 59, 
Six weeks after we retired, we found out we'd lost 65% of our retirement portfolio in the stock crash. And we thought we had saved our way to wealth. But um, I, I want to encourage our audience to stay with us because what Amy and Rich are going to unfold is a story how they came across a real estate guru company that was coming to town for a seminar. They signed up for a three-day boot camp. They bought the top education package. And as they got deeper entwined with this real estate guru company, they ended up investing over $80,000 in a real estate education program that wasn't going to work. Am I overstating that, Rich? No, you got that right. Okay, I got that. He says that very softly. Hey, you're listening to the Dr. G and Kevin Lawrence Show, and Rich and Amy Rodriguez, our special guests, live in the studio with us. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to find out what real real estate investing is all about, Kevin and I want to invite you to be our personal guest at our upcoming investor business forum that we're hosting right here in the Valley this week. You're going to be our personal guest. There's no cost. And I tell all of our guests, Kevin, leave your checkbook and credit cards at home. Why do I emphasize that? Well, this so isn't much? about buying anything. This is about you as a listener doing your due diligence. Come meet Dr. G and myself. Let us meet you. Find out if, if uh, this is going to be a part of your life. See if this works for you. Exactly. You, you, you got to just find out who we are. Let's meet first. See what we do. Don't right. buy anything. Absolutely. And then when they meet us, they're determined which one of us is the most handsome. Right. Well, we know who has the most hair. Yeah, that's right. That's me. Okay. Thank God I still have hair. Okay. Hey, we have a good time here in the studio. Ladies and gentlemen, we would love for you to be our guest. To make that happen, all you have to do is call me. Let me give you our phone number. It's 602 730 5645. That's 602-730-5645. Or if you want to meet us personally, go to our website, Wealth Empowers. That's W-E-A-L-T-H, Empowers, E-M-P-O-W-E-R-S, WealthEmpowers.com. So, Kevin, uh, when I first heard Richard Amy's story, you know, your mother and I went out to dinner with this precious couple. And I was absolutely stunned. Amy, tell our audience what happened to you and Rich. So in uh, March of 2017, we decided we were going to go to um, a real estate guru seminar. Uh, it was a two-hour presentation. Two-hour free introductory session. And Find out dinner. how to build and you dinner. You got the rubber yeah. chicken dinner. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. So we sat there and they, you know, they went over, you know, what your financial future is going to look like. And they went over how you can find all these deals. And so it seemed like a great, um, great information. And it was exactly what we were looking for. So we agreed to sign up with the three day boot camp. So it was three days of, an, of being able mm -hmm. to learn all the. And, and, and where, where, where was that boot camp held here in the Valley? It was here in the Valley. Okay. It was, um, it was hosted by someone that was on one of the reality TV shows yeah. that, that do it. Um, and, you know, they they gave some information, but they the way they presented it, they, they gave you just enough that you were interested, but you wanted more. So so, so what did know, that boot camp cost you? That was $1,200. $1,200 to yeah. go to the three-day boot camp, yeah. and then what? And then they, um, you know, they talked about mindset. They talked about education. They talked about real estate. And, you know, as soon as you sit down, the price sheet is sitting there on your on your desk. So, wow. you, so you knew what what it was going to cost mm -hmm. the entire time so you were thinking about well which package would i want and how much do i need and here's you know here's all the costs and so we we signed up for the top package because we knew that we were serious about this and we and we knew that it that real estate was where we needed to go in order to reach our goals so you know the package included um now, now let me stop right here here's a lady you've been in the mortgage industry how many years 16 16 years yeah. You uh, were on the outside looking in on the real estate, right? Yes. Uh, you saw a lot of investors make a lot of money. Yes. And uh, Rich, you were taking pictures of the real estate. Well, actually, that's that's the main service that I provide. But basically, my day is full of just making relationships with agents all day and learning from them. So go ahead. 
So we decided on the top package because we um, we knew that this was what we wanted to do and uh-huh. that it was definitely going to help us get to our goals. And we felt like what they were presenting was what we needed. It was the, mm-hmm. the piece of the missing puzzle for sure. us. Sure, sure. Um, and so we signed up for the package. We went into debt to do it because we didn't have wow. you know, um, $35,000 just sitting. <laughs> in right, yeah, room. yeah. And so... Um, you know, it included a boots on the ground. So someone came out with a group of us and we got to go look at properties and, and analyze deals. Um, the more that we spent with the company, we realized a lot of it was wasting our time. Like it was a lot of busy work that made us feel like we were doing stuff, but we never are actually connecting all the dots. Right. So when we would be missing a piece of information, it seemed like all of a sudden they had a great package to upgrade to (laughs) so um we did Uh, you you know i'm sorry you know we shouldn't laugh at that because you ended up spending eighty thousand dollars we did uh it really the the biggest thing about it is when they keep you busy and they they string you along they really make you feel more like a partner like they they had your back and if you needed the money they were going to be there for that too so they made it sound like they were looking for somebody to to be their guy and you were it yeah. yeah, but now you had six coaching sessions included, right? There, the half hour coaching sessions. Six coaching sessions that we paid for that was not included. That was additional. So that was another thirty grand. What? Yeah. Six coaching sessions, thirty minutes. Yes, thirty minutes for thirty grand. For thirty thousand dollars. Yes. And you said every time you called your coach, he spent the first fifteen minutes doing what? Reintroducing himself. As if he didn't know who we were. You're and we talked to him every week. And so by like the third time, I, would, I told Rich, I was like, we can't do this anymore. I'm just getting angry that I have to. I know who he is and I know his story and I could tell him oh, his that, story. <laughs> yeah. You know? Right. And so then within 15 minutes, we had the 15 minutes to do the coaching. And then within our, as soon as our 30 minutes was up, he had to move on. He couldn't, we couldn't have any questions. Oh, you know, call our 1-800 number if you have, you know, follow-up questions or if you, if you need anything else. So. That, Rich, that must have been frustrating. It must, uh, did it make you angry? Yes, actually very, very angry. Um, it, it was really hard, but from, from getting to talk to them all the time, I would push them even harder with each call. And, as I would get through their education, I would realize that we were actually learning stuff, but we were learning so much that we were learning that w- this was not the good place that we were in. <laughs> well, wow. I like the way you said it earlier, Amy. It was busy work. They kept you busy. It did. And it, it's surprising. And there are holes, you know, because anyone who thinks they're going to go to a three-day boot camp and learn all the secrets, I like how they say it, learn all the secrets in real estate. You're not going to learn it in three days. Yeah. I can promise you that. It's not going to happen. But it is interesting how they always had that next quote unquote product or that next upgrade or upsell for that hole that's that's missing. Well what about this? Hey, good question. Buy this. And it's just that constant, you know, revolving circle of buy this, buy this, buy this, but are we really learning anything? I've been down that road, by the way, so it's frustrating. Go well ahead. you you know, um one of the things that we purchased was we had a mentor come and spend three days with us for a weekend to kind of walk us through everything so somebody flew here to phoenix someone flew here and what did that cost that you? was part of the thirty-five thousand okay. that we spent but i think it was like 14 grand was the upgrade for that part <sighs> um but no, when no, she wait was, a minute wait, you paid fourteen thousand dollars just to fly some dude out here for three days where did he fly in from colorado colorado what yeah. time of the year was that it was um july no, 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 June, June. June. Okay, June. all right. Well, yeah. I was going to say if it was the winter, he got a free vacation, Right, didn't yeah. He? Yeah, okay, go ahead. <laughs> so, but when she was here, she even um, addressed the three-day boot camp saying that, um, you know, the way they present the information, they present it in a way so that you're confused and you're wanting more information, so right. you want to buy. Right. So it is just part of their, you know sales it's built it, into their business it's model it's exactly because their, model. Yes. their yeah. business model is a constant upsell model yes. their business model is get you guys depressed about where you're at now um, worried about your future and then buy more buy more buy more and you know one of the things that we noticed um in all of the infor- in all of the little interactions that we had with this company is uh-huh. we were the youngest couple there so there wow. were a lot of elderly people that were in a position where they realized 
you know, we need something else. We need something. And, and you know, and they were just being taken advantage of, honestly, that in my so opinion. so sad. You know, and, and so it made their financial situation much Even worse. worse. I mean, yeah. can you imagine, Kevin? Uh, I was 59 when I retired. Uh, we lived on what we had left. When I was 64, our money ran out. We had a successful career for 25 yeah. years as marriage and family counselors. Can sure. you imagine if I would have gone to the same guru that Rich and Amy went to and put myself in a position where I was $80,000 in debt? That's why you told me not to get involved with Renatus, right? Yeah, it's the exact same concept. I, I don't want that to happen to you. But you did. You you went to a boot camp, paid 2500 bucks, right. and they tried to upsell you more, and you told them to take a hike. Yeah, they tried to upsell me to a $35,000 package, a seven-day boot camp down in Florida. And, well, we're going to tell the rest of the story tomorrow, okay? <laughs> I need to talk to our audience, ladies and gentlemen. We are so grateful that we have found Renatus. What is Renatus? Renatus is a Latin term for rebirth. And Renatus is the premier real estate investing education service in America. And it has transformed mine and Sylvia's life. Kevin, you and Lori walked away from a six-year successful business in the insurance yes. industry. You built a successful book of in, uh, insurance you decided to join your mother and I. Yes. You saw the reality of it. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, our hearts go out to folks like Rich and Amy, but I got to tell you, the good news is they're part of Renatus now. <laughs> Are you excited about that, yes, Amy? Very excited. Extremely yes. excited and hopeful. E excited and hopeful. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we want you to get excited and hopeful about your future. Kevin and I want you to be our personal guest at our Investor Business Forum this week. Come and find out what we've embraced that has changed our life. You know, real estate uh, doesn't care how old you are, doesn't care what your gender is, doesn't care what your ethnicity is, but you've got to learn how to become a successful real estate investor. And that's what I've done. And we want you to have that same opportunity. We want you to be our personal guest at our business forum this week. All you have to do to make that happen is give me a phone call, and I'm going to give you my number right now. Are you ready to write it down? Okay, here's my phone number. It's 602-730-5645. By, by the way, when you call, you're going to get my voicemail. So for your sake, leave a message with your name and your phone number so I can get back to you personally. Once again, here's my phone number. It's 602 730 Five six four five, and Rich and Amy, you can understand now. Well, Kevin, you can understand. Yes. Now they're telling their story. Have you ever heard their yes, story? Yes, I have. Okay, I, I heard their story. It's horrible. And I don't. And again, I don't want our listeners to be like, "Bummer, what happened next?" We'll come back tomorrow, and and we'll show the redeemed side, right? Right. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, when you were introduced to Renatus, did you say, "Oh no, not again"? Kind of. Yes, a little <laughs> bit. I mean, I, I remember sitting through the presentation thinking, I can't believe we're at another presentation. But I saw parts of it that really made me want to be a part of it. And so that's why we kept coming back. Yes, <laughs> so. I, at first, I remember it was more like tucking our head between our legs and, and just feeling sick that we found ourselves in another instant replay. <laughs> <laughs> instant replay. <laughs> Little bit different, isn't it, Rich? Very different. Uh, actually, it's a lot different. Yes, yeah, completely it, different. yeah. Rich and Amy Rodriguez is our special guest. And ladies and gentlemen, some of you may think, well, Dr. G, you just don't know the problems that I'm dealing with right now. Well, you know, I say it like this. When it comes to your problems, you can resist them, you can resent them, you can rage about them. But here's what I encourage you to do. Learn how to respond to the positive purpose of your problems because... When it comes to your problems, don't nurse them, curse them, or rehearse them. Success is not a destination, it's a journey, and you can succeed. All that's given to anyone is given to you. Now listen carefully. Success is never final, and failure is never fatal. An investment in knowledge will pay you the best return on your investment. Now, remember, I said success is not a destination, it's a journey. So my question to you is, are you enjoying the journey? 
You are full of the power of success. Now, why do I say this? Well, it's real simple. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. I'm Dr. G, and I want you to create success. Why not start today? We have live in the studio with this precious couple, Amy and Rich Rodriguez, all the way from Queen Creek, Arizona. Uh, just a precious couple, and they shared yesterday how, yesterday how they got involved with a real estate guru company, and over a period of months, up to a year, they ended up investing over $80,000 in their education and got nothing in return for it. Yeah. And uh, it, it's just heartbreaking. Uh, Rich and Amy, uh, you, you ended up coming to one of our Renas events. <laughs> Yes. And you'd already lost $80,000 in some guru scheme. Uh, what were your thoughts, Amy? Well, you know, we lost the 80000 in a matter of two months. Mm. So when two we, months? Yeah, so we were at 80000 when we, we found Renatus within two months. I'm sorry, I lied, yeah. my, I lied to my audience, yeah. Kevin. Yeah. I, I said almost over a year, yeah, but in no, two months. Two months, yeah. So so, so you guys drank the Kool-Aid, didn't you? We totally Very drank much, the yes, Kool-Aid yes. because <laughs> we thought it was the answer. And it is the answer, but it just wasn't the right one. Oh, well, company, yeah, exactly. So. Bless your heart. And so, Rich, here you and Amy, uh, you were introduced to Renata at, at a meetup group. Then you came to one of our business forums. I, and what were your thoughts? Be honest with our audience. What were your thoughts? Oh, our thoughts were, you know, like, how could we how could we be in this position again? How did we find ourselves full circle is what I was thinking at the time. Uh-huh. But, um, you know, we just had to to free our mind, let go of that emotion and see what we could see in front of us. And that's where we started to notice things were really different. Well, what was different about Renata, Amy? The biggest thing that we saw was um, the community was was the Mm -hmm. kind of the missing link that we were missing because the company that we had bought into was out of state. Um, We didn't have any local support. Mm -hmm. And so um, when we sat in the room and we saw, hey, these people look like they know each other and they (laughs) hang out. um, I was like, this is the part that we're missing is that these people know the Phoenix market and they know the real estate that's going on in the in the area. And so you know, to call someone on a 1-800 number and they have no idea what our market is um, and what it does. And so even the guru or the, excuse me, the mentor that came out, she was from Colorado. And so she had no idea what the Phoenix market was like, which is very different than the Colorado market. And, and when she left, she actually said out loud, I don't believe this system works here. <laughs> <laughs> now wait, now wait a minute. Uh, I think you said you paid $30,000 for that coaching? It was, uh, yes, yeah. $30,000 for that coaching, yeah. six 30-minute sessions. Yes. And then someone flew out for three days. Yes. And the person that flew out here for three days literally said, uh, yeah, I don't think our system will work in the state of Arizona. In, in our Phoenix market. In because our Phoenix market. We, we actually went around to make offers and, and see what kind of deals we could pick up, and, and nothing was working. We couldn't get any traction anywhere. Yeah, because we were just wasting everybody's time. That's yeah. really what it was. Wow. How'd you feel about that, Amy? Really defeated and angry. <laughs> so. Rich? I, I, I hate wasting time, and I hate wasting other people's time because I, you know, I know what that feels like. So that's when I knew we were really in trouble, and then we were getting angry and frustrated. <laughs> oh, so, so, you, so this has been horrible. We talked about it yesterday. We're talking about it again. It's bad all the way around, okay? So you're, you, you come to our business forum, Dr. G and I invite our listeners to come and, and meet us, come to the business forum, see the community, see who we are. You're sitting there listening to, hey, this is Renatus, the premier real estate investing education company or service in the country, and you're shaking your heads going, here we are again. But what were the key elements that you saw that night that we knew each other? Yes. Is, okay. Yes. So why was that yeah. important to you, Amy? It was important because I felt like we needed a support system in mm-hmm. order to be successful and that we didn't have it. And that was part of, um, you know, what we were missing and why I didn't feel like we were moving forward. And so we tried to uh. kind of connect with the people that we had met along the way with this other company. Uh-huh. But even they, they were also feeling lost because we we were still missing pieces. Everything right. wasn't connected. What about you, Rich? What did you see? Well, you know. 
it's it's all about the community, but we actually got to see everybody in action. You know, we got to see how everybody interacted with each other. It was, and you feel your way through it. You really, when you come to visit Renatus, you really feel your way through it. You know, it's one thing to hear and see something, but you also get that feeling. It's just mm-hmm. a very hopeful vibe. Everybody was so supportive with each other. Everybody's talking about the deals they're doing with each other, but you can also see how how everybody was bringing something to the table to help the next guy out. Did it help you also when you found out that we had a property tour every Saturday yes. on a property that one of our team members was yes. fixing or flipping or buying and holding or uh, buying subject to? I mean, what? We've got seven different directions uh, of real estate investing education that you can embrace. Uh, did did that make a big difference seeing the property tours? That actually, yes, that kind of helped seal the deal. And and it's funny because the the property tour, the first one where we had made some of our big decisions regarding Renatus was was Kevin's uh, flip here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. That house was torn up, man. Yeah, it it looked like a war zone, and it was hot. It was crazy. It was I know <laughs> it was a summer we we're trying to get by with yeah. just. Well, the windows are open. It's not that bad. But yeah, it was it was uh, late late uh, May, early June, and you're and you came and you saw the same people you saw uh, on on our business forum were the same people you saw at the property tour. Yes. Mm-hmm. So you start going, and where were we the following week at the same place? Yeah. What what I thought when when we saw that and he experienced that tour, I, I couldn't use any other word than just an amazing experience mm-hmm. to see wow. how fast everything could come together. So since you guys were so tight with each other, you knew each other that well, and you were all on the same, you know, road together for success, you're all studying everything, Mm -hmm. and you're getting into deals together really quickly. So when it came to funding, when it came to sharing resources, it all happened really fast. Mm -hmm. And you can see that this went from talking about something to a full-blown deal with no walls in it. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, and Renatus has opened up a whole new world to you, hasn't it? Yeah. Absolutely. Yes. But what's exciting to me is, Rich and Amy, and I, I'm going to say this, it's kind of selfish of me, but you guys bring so many gifts and so much value to our local team of real estate investors. It's such a joy to have you here in our local community. Well, thank, thank you. Thank you so yes. much. I yeah. just, we, you know, you make us feel appreciated at, at any given turn, and it. It I just adds to the, such the hopeful feeling. I, I want to contribute as much as everybody else does. to. Well, <laughs> and that's why you're here live on the studio with us. Ladies and gentlemen, you're listening to the Dr. G and Kevin Lawrence Show. And Rich and Amy Rodriguez, for all the way from Queen Creek, Arizona, live in the studio with us today. Did you ever think you'd end up being in radio with us, Rich? <laughs> Absolutely not. Amy? No. no. <laughs> Are you having fun? Yes. Yes, okay. I was actually dreading it. I love it now. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Kevin and I, we're hosting another investor business forum this week. Why don't you do what Rich and Amy did and just come and get acquainted with us? Uh, I tell everybody, leave your credit cards and your checkbooks at home. You're not going to be buying anything. And why is that? We're not selling you anything. What we encourage you to do is take some time out of making a living so you can learn how to make a life. I I mean, uh, uh, there's so much more to real estate investing than just buying real estate. It's about building relationships. It's about learning about velocity banking. Kevin, what else are they going to learn about? I think they're just going to learn about our heart as a community and as people that we do care about one another. This is not a competitive situation. No. It's cooperative because we know if we work together that we could create more. So why don't you be our guest? To make that happen, all you have to do is give me a call. I'm going to give you my phone number in just a minute, but I want you to know when you call, you will get our voicemail. So for your sake, leave a message with your name and phone number, and I will personally return the call. Are you ready to write down our phone number? Here it is. It's 602-730-5645. Once again, that's 602-730-5645. Or, hey, you can go to our website, Wealth Empowers. That's W-E-A-L-T-H. Empowers, E-M-P-O-W-E-R-S, wealthempowers.com. So, uh, Rich and Amy, you came to Renatus, and here's what you said. Our mindset has definitely changed from fear and limitations to hope and abundance. 
Do you really believe that, Amy? Yes, absolutely. Why? You know, before we found Renatus, we were feeling really defeated yeah. and almost and really embarrassed that we made such a terrible financial decision to spend yeah. 80 grand on em- embarrassed is a good word yeah, yeah. I, I was embarrassed when i lost all my mutual yeah. funds <laughs> you know we, we felt foolish because we didn't feel like we were um uneducated people and then uh-huh. we went into this with hope that it, it would work and then when it didn't we were like what are we going to do um one of the things i do want to point out is when we went to the business forum and we were sitting there thinking you know how, how did we get here again <laughs> i'm sorry Bless your you heart. Know, but the thing that stood out was, you know, we, we talked to some people in the community and we said, you know, look, this is what we did. We've already spent 80 grand on education. How, how will, you know, this is great, but how do we spend more money? And, right. and actually what stood out to us was one of the community members came to us and said, well, we might have a solution. We might have an idea as to how to get some of your money back. And that was so different from our experience with the other companies because mm-hmm. I felt like the other companies, we were always being financially profiled into how they could get more money from us. Oh, right. good and phrase, here, financially profiled. And yeah. here is this person that doesn't know us, that's from the community that wants to help us and they don't know anything about us and they're trying to find a solution for us. So that really you know, came to our hearts and made us yeah. want to, to know more about, right. about Renatus. That's really and, what, like, we get from Renatus it's all about solutions you know Mm -hmm. we we were stuck in this mindset where it's all about only what we knew and and Renatus is about knowing what you don't know you don't know Mm -hmm. and that's what opens up a whole new world yeah Yeah, and so were you able to get some of your money back on that we were able to get enough to pay for our Renatus education wow Wow. exactly and so you know even though the story story is sad and tragic and terrible but I feel like if we had never met this other company and ever went down that road, Mm -hmm. we never would have found Renatus. So it's kind of a blessing in disguise, really, because we never would have been looking for a networking opportunity to meet other investors. (laughs) And and you also, didn't you also uh, sit down with another community member and get in depth about the Velocity Banking to help sweep away the debt? Yes, because yeah. one thing, and of course on radio, it's so difficult to, to unpack this entire strategy. Right. We have a 10-hour class just on debt elimination, how to eliminate a mortgage, in, a 30-year mortgage within seven to nine years. That one strategy alone can change a person's financial situation. And that one, that's a microcosm and cosm of a picture of what Renatus brings to people. That is different from the guru stuff because they're all about getting your money. Renata says, well, hey, we could teach you how to be stronger financially yes. just on a personal level. So that one strategy, you guys watched your classes on the debt elimination, but we have a community member who eliminated $90,000 of debt in a year and a half and, and avoided over $30,000 of credit card interest. You sat with them and they kind of walked you through your situation and did that help give you hope on eliminating the debt that yes. you had? Yeah, that's really what we've been focusing on the last couple of months is now, just working on uh, that. Was that Dennis and Kathleen? Yeah, Dennis and Kathleen. Precious couple. We had Dennis on, on a while back, too. Right. Yeah, sweetheart was, of a couple, mm-hmm. yeah. That was actually a big turning point for us. You know, we're going through our education being as hopeful as we can, but then it came around to we really had to get to managing that debt so mm-hmm. we can get through our education, the, the older debt. But it just seemed so hopeless because it was so overwhelming. Um, and the community saw that we were overwhelmed. You know, sure. when, you, when you're not feeling up to par, your energy's down because you just feel sure. so defeated, you show up. You just show your face in there and you let someone know that you have a challenge and they will rise to the occasion. And, and it's yeah. been so hopeful since then. Well, you know, the Bible says faith is the evidence of things hoped for the substance of things unseen. And so you came to one of our Renatus events. Uh, You said, what are we doing here? But you started hearing information that was so different, so proactive. And then you kept coming to the event, and you met Kathleen and Dennis. And they said, look, here's what we've done. You said they saved how much money? 90000 Oh No, they've eliminated 90000 of debt, and they've avoided about 30000 plus in credit card interest. And they'll have their mortgage paid off in about three years, and they'll avoid, oh, I don't know, another, what did he say, about 
seventy to eighty thousand in mortgage interest. Without going to getting another job. Without getting another job, no rice and beans, beans and rice. Right. It's a strategy that Renatus teaches. That's just one of the class. I mean, we've got over fifty eight classes, uh, but it's it's a broad spectrum of personal finance, debt elimination, you know, raising private funds evaluating properties. Do you want to do buy and hold? Do you want to do fix and flip? Do you want commercial? What about multifamily? Uh, you know, just the tax and legal side. So Renatus is about building a, a foundation of education versus the guru boot camps. Just want to grab your money and show, hey, go flip a house. You know, it, it's just day and night in my mind, but I'm speaking for me. Do you guys agree, disagree? Totally agree. Absolutely. It's like strategy after strategy for solution upon solution. Ooh, yeah, I like that. Yeah, I like the way you said that. Strategy upon strategy, solution after solution. Yeah. And, uh, you know, uh, now you know, you've been part of our team now for, what, well over a year? Yes. And uh, you've heard me say many times, this is not Dr. G's team. This is your team. Do you really believe this is your team, Amy? Yes, absolutely. Why? Yeah. Um, Because I feel like when we are at the events and we're with our group, that we're just part of a team. It's our team, you know? I just, whatever we feel like we can contribute builds upon everybody's success. You can feel yeah. the momentum in that. And when somebody else brings something to the table and everybody's eyes get wide open, it just everybody moves on that and it just we create new things every week. Mm-hmm. Well, and and we bring our, our our talents to the table to help one another and enrich with a property that I uh, have under contract and I had some challenges with it, which by the way that's under contract now, so we're closing yeah. on that one soon. Yeah. So thank okay. God for that. But you brought your skills uh, of your real estate um, photography and video service that you provide and helped right. me out and Lori with the deal we had. And and that's what it's about, right? I mean, we're a family, we're a team, we we're a nationwide. We have over uh, you know live co- investor communities in over twenty cities in the country. And actually, thirty six cities in the nation, Kevin. Yeah, it's over twenty. <laughs> so. yeah, that's over twenty. You're right. Okay. Hey, you're listening to Doctor G and Kevin Lawrence Show and Rich and Amy Rodriguez uh, from Queen Creek, Arizona, are live in the studio with us today, and they're just sharing from their heart to yours how Renatus has changed their life, and they didn't give up. Uh, I mean, uh, they didn't get angry and bitter over their previous circumstance. Because they believe that that led them to Renatus. Well, Kevin and I were hosting another business forum this week. We would love for you to be our personal guest. To make that happen, all you're going to have to do is call me. And uh, when you call, you will get our voicemail. So please, for your sake, leave a message with your name and phone number. And I will personally return the call. And all we're going to do is talk for about five or six minutes and get acquainted. Here's my phone number. I want you to write it down. It's 602-730-5645. That's 602-730-5645. Or, hey, visit us at our website. Uh, I encourage you to spend a few minutes getting acquainted with Kevin and I on our website. It's Wealth Empowers. That's W-E-A-L-T-H. E M P O W E R S Wealth Empowers dot com. Uh, Amy, we've got less than two minutes. Would you share from your heart to the heart of our audience why they should come and and uh, visit our investor business forum? Well, I just think that if you are in a, um, a position in your life where you feel like you need something different and something new or a change. Um, that it's definitely worth your time to come and just see what we have to offer. Come meet the community, see the education in action, and um, I just think that it would be you, you need to come meet Dr. G and Kevin. <laughs> well, <laughs> come meet Rich and Amy. Yeah, you guys are part too. of the community. Yeah, meet yeah we'll you be guys. there too. So <laughs> I mean, it's a great. You guys have a fantastic yeah. redemption story, you know. And one thing, Dad, you said that they didn't allow the bitterness and the hurt and the pain of the past. Right to consume them. You guys chose to rise above it. You saw a path and and you saw a way to get out of it, not just get out of that, but also to be able to uh, thrive, get past it and build something big. And uh, uh, to me, it's just exciting. And uh, when Sylvia and I had dinner with you two and I first heard your story, I was just blown away. 
I said, I'm just absolutely amazed that you actually got enrolled in our Renata system because so many people are so angry and bitter and they feel so disillusioned with life that they don't embrace anything. They just stay there muddling in their puddle uh, of self-pity. Yes. But you guys decided not to do that. And I just want to say congratulations. Uh, you've taken ownership of your life. And it's a joy and a privilege to have you on our local team. And, uh, the couple that we have live in the studio today, Rich and Amy Rodriguez, uh, if they wanted an excuse to stay in the rut they were in, they had a reason for their excuse. Boy, they did. And uh, they invested over $80,000 in one of these three-day uh, weekend real estate guru seminars and uh, got nothing out of it. $80,000, and they lost that in two months. And then they were introduced to Renatas, and uh, they met people who were part of our local community mm -hmm. and uh, became friends, and uh, uh, they became part of our local team. And it's just a real joy to have them live in the studio. Rich and Amy, thank you for being back with us again today. Thank you. Thank you for having us. It feels like an honor. Yeah, and Kevin, there's some things you want to unpack today, especially well, I think you're going down the right road on excuses. I mean, Amy and Rich had every reason in the world to to stop their their path and just say, "Hey, we're done," and they didn't do it. Uh, you you continued on it. But here's another thing too: when you found yourself uh, at our business forum, Rich and Amy, and you're going, "Here we go again." And for our new listeners, by the way, we won't get into all the details today. You can you can go online and listen and check out our podcast, hear the entire story. But for our new listeners, it's just Rich and Amy went, spent a ton of money on the Guru Boot Camp thing on real estate investing and got nowhere fast. And that's a story of many people. So what made Renatus different? And they said it was community. It was people helping one another. And But you're sitting here in, in our business forum you know, our weekly business forum going, here we are again, listening to more how you could change your financial situation through real estate investing and entrepreneurship. You could have just walked out and not just, just uh, you know, been done with, uh, with us all together, but with the real estate investing path all together. You could have been like, we're done. We're not even going to go down that road anymore. What was it that, not just about Renatus, but what kept you focused on, hey, we have got to learn how to invest in real estate? What was behind that piece? I really think it was, for me, it was the reminder of our why we started this in the first place. Mm -hmm. You know, the the picture of our mom um, in, a, in her golden years in a very bleak situation. And we knew that we needed to, one, find a, find a way to make additional income to mm -hmm. help her, but also create a um, financial future for us that where we could live comfortably when we wanted to retire. And we knew that um, real estate really was the only way. There wasn't another solution that would mm -hmm. work um, as well as, as investing in real estate. So we knew that we had to keep going, and we, and we felt confident once we met the, the community members right. of Renatus. And what do you think about Rich? Oh, it's just, it feels like a rebirth. It really does. And... Like I mentioned before, it's all about solutions and just relearning everything. Because what really did it for us is that we thought we knew everything and nothing mm -hmm. was working. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> now we, we know all this stuff we didn't know and it's all working. <laughs> so now we have over 58 classes and about 25 uh, practicing instructors, meaning the men and women who teach the classes are actually getting the results with what they're teaching in their personal business. Okay. So Rich, what one or two classes really stood out to you to help give you that confidence to continue with real estate investing? Well, I really love the creative acquisitions class because it really got your mind turning around to different ways of being able to acquire the real estate that you always wanted to. You know, it's, it's, we're always taught there's one way to do it. You know, you get a loan and you make the payments and, you know, right. this is so creative. Yeah, that's by Chris Alban. Yes. I got to tell you something, Rich and Amy. Uh, his class, Creative Acquisitions, was the first class that I took. And, of course, you know, at that time I was going through bankruptcy and foreclosure. I was in a cycle of loss. But when I took Chris Alban's class, Creative Acquisitions, I went home and hugged my wife, and I said, honey, I can do this. 
I can learn how to take ownership and control of real estate with none of my own money and none of my own credit. And in my first 14 months, I generated just under $200,000 in profits. I mean, uh, uh, you, you talk about a godsend. Chris Allman's a wonderful Christian man, loves the Lord, and he just has a real servant spirit, doesn't he? Absolutely love that. Yeah, and Chris Allman is one of 26 of our instructors. Yeah, 25 of them. 25, yeah. 26. Exactly. But I'll tell you, but uh, I, I want to share something here that Amy wrote out for me. She says, as far as our Renatus journey, our mindset has definitely changed from fear and limitations to hope and abundance. What do you mean by that, Amy? You know, when we started out on this journey with the other company, we um, got to a point where we just felt um, defeated Mm -hmm. and we didn't know how we were going to dig ourselves out of this Mm -hmm. financial mess that we kind of had created ourselves. And when we saw Renatus, we... um, saw the hope that you know there is a solution and it doesn't mm-hmm. work um and we had met the right people you know so that's why we feel like we feel hopeful for our future now for me it was just that when we really got to see we're for what it was it was just more than real estate you know yeah and i i truly thought it was a system that would help you just transform any situation into one where you can create lasting wealth I, my my current business, I actually do a lot of big houses up to the $10 million range. So I get to meet the people who own these and get to know them. They're all business owners and they all leverage real estate. But what I found very interesting is I would always share my stories of what I was learning at Renatus. And they're very eye-opening even to them. So you can see that I learn things that they don't even know right sure. now. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah a lot, not just because someone has money or has a couple of properties does not mean they fully understand or have full comprehension of all the real estate and business strategies that Renatus provides. Now that, that kind of depth and the education and it leads me to feel really great about my return on investment as far as the <laughs> Renatus journey goes. And also just... As far as hope and abundance go, I literally feel that the more that Renatus gives me, I start to feel limitless. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. now, also on the program yesterday, you shared with our audience how that you spent over $80,000 in two months with this real estate guru company. Uh, you were in a position where you were very discouraged and very frustrated. You came to a Renatus event, and you decided to enroll in the Renatus education system but uh, you said that uh, Renatus is not only about real estate uh, investing. It's a true system that's about transforming one's current situation into a cycle of lasting wealth that leverages real estate. But here's the key thing I want to get out to our audience. Uh, one of our team members, Dennis and Kathleen, sat down with you and shared with you a strategy where you could get some of your money back that you lost with that other company. And what, in a couple of months, you actually got over $20,000 back, something like that? Yes, we did. But it was actually, it wasn't Dennis and Kathleen for that part. It oh, was, okay. Um, it was Bill. Bill sat down with us and just oh. gave us an idea as to how to get some of our money back from the other company. It was actually and Bill so, and the team. So yeah. everyone in a group that we pretty much talked to and met our first night. Yeah, that we didn't know. Came really. to the that, table is- and brought a... A viable solution that we went after, and it, it mm. panned yeah. out. Yeah, it worked. <laughs> it panned yeah. out. Isn't that awesome? We yeah, said, okay, good. let's show you how you can get some money back. Yes. Isn't that great? That is the yeah. best testament to, like, these are solutions that are yeah. brought that will work for us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're listening to the Dr. G and Kevin Lawrence Show, and Amy and Rich Rodriguez are live in the studio with us. Precious couple. Ladies and gentlemen, is it time that you seriously give yourself the opportunity to make the change that you really know you need to make. Well, Kevin and I want to invite you to be our personal guest at our Investor Business Forum this week. Uh, and when you come, it's going to open up the doors of possibilities and probabilities as to how you can take ownership of your financial future and create a financial foundation that you control. You don't have to continue being at the mercy of of circumstances in your life. You can learn how to create the circumstances that you want to create. Hey, to be our personal guest, there's no cost. Uh, We're not going to sell you anything. I tell everybody, leave your checkbook and credit cards at home. 
But uh, to make that happen, you're going to have to give us a phone call. So I'm going to give you our personal direct phone number. And when you call, you will get our voicemail. So for your sake, leave a message, and I will personally call you back. Are you ready to write down my phone number? Here it goes. It's 602-730-5645. That's 602-730-5645. Or visit our website. It's Wealth Empowers, W-E-A-L-T-H. Wealth Empowers, E-M-P-O-W-E-R-S, WealthEmpowers.com. Kevin, you're sitting here in the studio, and I know you've become friends with Rich and Amy, but from your perspective, as a team leader, uh, you see the journey they've been on the last year. Do you see some major changes in attitudes here? Uh, As Rich keeps saying, uh, you know, there's hope. It's like there's yeah. a lightness, like, okay, there's a light at the end of the tunnel, and you've got some uh, definitely a bright future and opportunity ahead of you. Uh, share with our audience about the situation, Rich, that you're dealing with with your mom and her house situation, because that's kind of kicked this whole thing off and started your journey. And you were sharing with us, uh, you know, between, uh, between our conversations off mic about how Renatus has given you the confidence to handle this situation. So kind of unpack that for our, our yeah. audience. As we mentioned before, when I lost my dad, we, we had to look at the situation where my mom really didn't have anything left. And it was just a bad situation where the house was totally in disrepair, disrepair and there was really no solutions on hand to to make it a better living situation and help my mom move on. Um, you know, and we really didn't know anything out of the scope of what got us in there in the first place to fix it. So it really wow. felt so hopeless. But when we started getting into our education, we started seeing that that hopelessness was so temporary, you know. And and I was able to, to you know, you want to come up with this solution. You're driven to come up with one. And all the info is there ready for you. So I was able to come up with several solutions really quickly and then go through those options to make one that's really viable. And it, it, just the contrast mm-hmm. of being able to come up with more than one solution that came, came out with a great outcome as opposed to just giving up. Just saying, I'm done, I have nothing for anybody, it makes you uh-huh. just want to give up too. So right now, uh, I'm revisiting this with my family back home where, you know, it's it's just an unsta- unsustainable situation they're in right now. But I could easily post to them, we can get them into another house because mm-hmm. it's there's so many ways to acquire one really quick and, and mm-hmm. at the same time get them out of that situation and honor the house that they were in by maybe fixing flipping it. And then uh, using whatever we got out of that as leverage to create, you know, saving some wealth on their part. So, you know, just just create a cash flow situation. So not only would she be in a hopeless situation, she would be in a more manageable situation with a newer house and actually create an income on the side that was more passive and fits the situation where she really deserves to be right now. So, so you're finding solutions to your dilemma. Yes, more than one. It's just yeah. literally, you know, you didn't even think one existed. Now you have a menu to pick from. A menu to choose from. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. And you like know, that. Uh, what's yeah. that old saying? If you think knowledge is expensive, try ignorance. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. And well, well, and I said every day I open the show that, that Dr. G and I believe there is a solution to your financial situation. But you have to get educated because, you know, a year ago, uh, faced with this, the problem, you didn't have a solution, you know, and now you're at a place where you're better educated, Rich and Amy, and that's giving you more confidence to, regardless of what the situation is, you'll be able to move forward. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's just actually my driving factor through all this, because when we talk about ignorance, I, I think ignorance at this point will cost you your life mm-hmm. because wow. when you have your vision of your life, and in you wake up to where you are and where you're going. This is not the life I envisioned for myself. Well, and let me go back to the. You said your ignorance will cost you your life. You know, uh, uh, Rich and Amy, I've got five degrees. I've got a graduate in theology. I've got a BA degree. I have a um, uh, uh, master uh, MA in pastoral counseling. And I have a doctorate of ministry. And, 
I can't remember what the other one is. But anyway, I uh, had a very successful 25-year career as a marriage and family counselor. I'd been on the radio for 20 years. Back in old, uh, back in old three, when I was 59, we retired. Six weeks later, found out we lost about 65% of our retirement portfolio in the stock crash. For the next five years, we lived on what we had left. In 2009, when I was 64, we, we ran out of money. And uh, we went through bankruptcy and foreclosure, and it was a frightening time. That's when I was introduced to Renatus. And I attended an event just like you folks did. And uh, I had the opportunity to meet Bob Snyder, our CEO and founder, personally. And Chris Alban, I met with him for two hours, uh, Rich. And uh, uh, so uh, I embraced the education. Now, I was 64 years old. And I decided that I had to be teachable and coachable. Because for 25 years, that's what I was doing. With the, I was counseling other people. You've got to be teachable and coachable. And uh, so the education put me in a different position where everything I'd lost wasn't even important anymore. I got focused on what I was going to create. And I tell folks all the time, if you keep focusing on what you don't have, you'll never be able to create what you can have. And that's hope. And Renatus gives you hope. Am I right or right? Absolutely. And my wife always gives me that hope and reminds me that your past does not dictate your future. Right. We have a, a we have the best chance in front of us right now. Say that again. What? Say that again. Yeah, say, say it again. reminds I'm me cl- that the uh, the past does not dictate your future. Yeah. You know, we're we're only here for so long, and you have so much you can do in this life, and that, I'm sure everyone wants to do. But, you know, staying in your little box and just, you know, keeping that, keeping your eyes closed to everything will not get you there. It will only, you're only just watching that the time run out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're watching the proverbial clock just yep. doing the same thing day in and day out. You know, Dad, that reminded me of what you said is is you can't, if you focus on what you used to have, you'll never be able to f- focus on what you can't create. Right. And that reminds me of how we're all stuck, at, not all, but we can get stuck in the lack, loss, and limitation mindset. You know, what I, my lack, what I don't have, the loss, what I used to have, and the limitations, what I, you know, what I don't have with me, right? And that kind of mindset stops us. And Rich and Amy, I just commend you both. You were at that yeah. place, and I don't think anyone would have would have faulted you for it. You know, you spent how much money to go to all this real estate education, and it quote unquote didn't work. Stop it. Just go back to your jobs. Stay with what you know. Work your way out of it over the next you know eight to ten years. Get back to zero, and then start putting money away for that one point four million dollar asset base in the stock market, so you can retire on three thousand dollars a month and work the next you know 20 years to make that happen. But you didn't. I mean, anyone would tell you, no problem, guys. We're not going to fault you for doing that. But you went, no, I'm not going to quit on my path because you were committed to yourself about you will develop a real estate portfolio that cash flows you, that sustains you long term, so you could control your time and your future. And you were not going to be deterred. And I commend you both for that. And here it is just a year later. Uh, you said that you are currently working on a solution to help yourselves and your families and possibly doing your first fi- fix and flip together. Yeah. That's exciting. That's now exciting. you're creating. Oh, and you're on the debt elimination uh, plan with the Velocity Banking Strategy. You're making strides. You guys are highly successful. Thank you, guys. Yeah, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, when you find yourself in a hole, it's time to stop digging. <laughs> That's the bottom line. You're listening to the Dr. G and Kevin Lawrence Show. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, we've been interviewing Rich and Amy Rodriguez, precious couple. They're key leaders in our team now, and uh, they're changing their lives. Uh, They're charting a future that they're going to control. They're on a journey to change their whole financial platform. You can do the same thing. Kevin and I are hosting another business forum this week right here in the Valley. We would love to meet you. Kevin, that's one of our highlights. I mean, every I always week enjoy we meeting our, our listeners. Audience. Yeah, absolutely. And so we, we would love for you to attend our business forum this week. It's on Thursday evening. It's from 7 till 9. You're going to learn about real estate investing as it is in Arizona. You're going to get to meet our team members. 
you're going to be introduced to our system. Renatus is the premier real estate investing education service in America. Uh, it's second to none. It really is. Come and find out what I'm talking about. If you'd like to be my personal guest, you have to call me. Here's my phone number. It's 602-730-5645. That's 602-730-5645. Rich and Amy, it's been such a joy to have you in the studio. Uh, at the end of every program, Monday through Friday, our announcer says the best way to predict the future is to create it. Would you agree or disagree, Amy? Absolutely agree. How about you, Rich? Absolutely. You know, changing your life and creating a life is all about being proactive. It's all about being proactive. And and you said when we were off the air, you said Amy and I have stopped being reactive and we become proactive. Are you enjoying being proactive? Absolutely. It's the only way to live. <laughs> now, I have one thing I got to tell you. I'm really upset about Rich and Amy. You referred to your mother. She's 78 years old, right? You referred to her as elderly. <laughs> and she's only four years older than me. Okay, so. So it means you're elderly. It's that okay. That means I'm elderly. I got to accept that. I don't know. But I'm sure having a good time. You know, we've been on the air now nine years introducing people to Renatus. Yes. And what a joy it is to have you in the studio today. And see your lives change. It's just a joy to be part of that, Rich and Amy. God bless you. Thank you. We love you, folks. And <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, change when left to chance will give birth to more conflict. If you don't change, things won't change. And I'll guarantee you this, the only thing that won't change is the fact that things will change. So here's the bottom line. Either you make the change or the change is going to make you. How are you going to do that? Well, stop being a circumstantial creator and become an intentional creator. Success is not a destination. It's nothing more than a journey, and you can succeed. All that's given to anyone is given to you. Now, listen carefully. Success is never final, but failure is never fatal. An investment in knowledge will pay you the best return on your investment. You are full of the power of success. Now, why do I say this? Well, it's real simple. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. I'm Dr. G, and I want you to create success. Why not start today? Hey, right now would be a good time. God bless and have a great day. It's been said, the best way to predict your future is to create it. No matter your circumstances, there is a solution to your situation. Dr. G and Kevin invite you to explore the possibilities of creating a new financial platform that you control and no longer allow yourself to be controlled by the circumstances of your life. Visit them at wealthandpowers.com. That's W-E-A-L-T-H-E-M-P-O-W-E-R-S.com. Come and meet Dr. G and Kevin at the Investor Business Forum. Oh, one last thought. Isn't it time for you to stop making a living and start making a life? Call Dr. G and Kevin at 602-730-5645. That's 602-730-5645.